Hello, and welcome back to Road Trivia. On this channel, we post new trivia quizzes every day, usually around noon Central Standard Time. Today's episode is number 628. If you go on to our main page, you can find all 627 quizzes that were done before this if you want to play some of those. Today's category will be Sports Around the World. It's a 21 question trivia quiz. Good luck. Question number one. One of the world's oldest known team sports, what is the name of the horseback ball game that is played by two opposing teams with the objective of scoring using a long-handled wooden mallet to hit a small hard ball through the opposing team's goal? The answer is polo. Question number two. Similar to field hockey, but played mainly in the Scottish Highlands, what is the name of the fast-paced, full-contact sport where players use their stick, called a command, to score as well as blocking and tackling? The answer is Shinti. Question 3. Nicknamed Chess on Ice, what popular Winter Olympic sport is a game that features two teams where individuals slide heavy stones on a sheet of ice toward a target area which is segmented into four concentric circles? The answer is curling. Question number four. Its name means Merry Festival in the Basque region of Spain where it was invented. What ball game is played in a three-walled court with a hard rubber ball that is caught and thrown with a cesta, a long, curved wicker scoop strapped to one arm? The name of that game is High Alai. Question number five. Originating in Victorian England, where it was played among the upper class as an after-dinner parlor game, what sport is played on a hard table divided by a short net where players hit a lightweight ball back and forth across it using small rackets? The answer is ping pong, or whiff waff, or table tennis. Question number six. What is the name of the team sport in which two teams of seven players each pass a ball manually with the aim of throwing it into the goal of the other team, and after a standard match consisting of two periods of 30 minutes, the team that scores the most goals wins? The answer is handball. Question number seven. Malaysia's national sport, Sepak Takra, is very similar to volleyball and features two teams who send a synthetic plastic or rattan ball over the net and keep it within the boundaries of the court. What is the main difference between volleyball and Sepak Takra? In Sepak Takra, they play it with their feet. Question number eight. What is the name of the popular international bat and ball game played between two teams of 11 players on a field at the center of which is a 22 yard pitch with a wicket at each end, each comprising of two bales balanced on three stumps? The answer is cricket. Question number nine. 
In 1950, Joseph Sobek is credited with inventing what modern sport that is played with a hollow rubber ball and stringed paddles on an indoor or outdoor court where the floors, walls, and ceiling are all legal playing surfaces. That sport is racquetball. Question number 10. Based on a fictional game of the same name invented by author J.K. Rowling, what real-life sport was created in 2005 and features two teams of seven players, each mounted on a broomstick, played on a hockey rink-sized pitch? The answer is Quidditch. Question 11. Played mainly by communities originally from Central Asia and officially the national sport of Afghanistan, what is the sport where horse-mounted players attempt to place a goat or calf carcass in a goal? The name of that sport is Booz Kashi. Question number 12. Developed in 1968 by a group of students at a Columbia High School in Maplewood, New Jersey, what is the name of the non-contact team game played by players with a flying disc flung by a human and points are scored by catching it in the end zone? That's called Ultimate Frisbee or just ultimate. Question 13. The fastest game on grass, what outdoor stick and ball team game of ancient Gaelic Irish origin played by men is one of Ireland's native Gaelic games and shares a number of features with Gaelic football such as the field and the goals. Similar to Shinty, this one is called Hurling. Question 14. The oldest organized sport in North America, with its origins in Aboriginal Canada as early as the 17th century, in what game do players use the netted head of their stick to carry, pass, catch, and shoot the ball into the goal? The answer is lacrosse. Question 15. Canal jumping, or fireljeppen, is actually a competitive sport in the Netherlands. The sport entails of getting from one side of the canal to the other and the furthest distance wins. How do they get across the canal? In Feral Japan, they use a long pole, like a pole vault. Question 16. At an annual event held on the spring break holiday at Cooper's Hill, near Gloucester in England, multiple participants race down the 200-yard long hill, chasing after what? They chase after a wheel of cheese. Question 17. Created in North America, in what lawn game do players take turns throwing 16 ounce bags at a raised platform with a hole in the far end, scoring three points for a bag in the hole, one point for a bag on the board, and the game ends when a team reaches the score of 21? The answer is cornhole. Question number 18. 
What sport involves hitting wooden or plastic balls with a mallet through hoops called wickets or gates embedded in a grass playing court? The answer is croquet. Question number 19. Players in what game complete a hole by throwing from a tee pad toward a target, known as a basket, throwing again from where the previous throw landed until the basket is reached, and the winner of each hole is the one who had the lowest number of total throws? The players are throwing a disc it's called Disc Golf. Question number 20. Although it may be played with larger teams, the common forms of the game are singles and doubles. What is the name of the racket sport played using rackets to hit a shuttlecock across the net? A shuttlecock or a birdie is used in badminton. All right, that is it for today. Thank you for watching today's episode of Road Trivia. This week coming up is when we're going to start the UK Trivia Week. It's going to be seven days of UK-based trivia, I think. Not tomorrow or the next day. Tuesday we'll have Brainy Tuesday, but on Wednesday we'll start UK Trivia Week. And that'll be because we are going to do the Tri-Peak Challenge uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Well, we're doing it Wednesday through Thursday, and then we won't be back yet on Friday. But the Tri-Peak Challenge is climbing to the top of the highest points in each of the three countries in the UK. So we'll be going to the highest point in Scotland, the highest point in England, and the highest point in Wales. And we'll do that in a 24 hour quick trip and then we're gonna spend the night in Wales and uh, probably spend a whole day there and get back late Friday. So, in honor of that, we will be doing UK trivia for seven days. I've got UK movies, UK actors, musicians, geography, kings and queens, I've got my buddies from England who are going to be helping me. Um, they're going to do actually reading some of the questions, which I thought would be kind of cool. So stay tuned for that. It's coming up this week. We've got a regular episode tomorrow, Brainy Tuesday on Tuesday, and then UK Trivia Week starts on Wednesday. Here is question 21, also a UK question. The Caber Toss. The hammer throw, the stone put, tug of war, and the hill race are just some of the competitions that are featured every year during what Scottish sports festival? That Scottish sports festival is known as the Highland Games. Thank you for watching. We will also be having a Scotland trivia popping up on UK Trivia Week, so keep an eye out for that. Have a good day.